So, how do I actually use Apple Reminders? Well, in this week's episode, I'm going to show you exactly how I use it. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Reminders series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to confess all and I'm going to show you exactly how I am using Apple Reminders. Now things haven't changed a great deal but I have actually found a really useful way of getting the most out of Reminders. Now in the past I've used, basically used Reminders as a shopping list and an inbox just to help me collect things using Siri. But I've actually found another use for it and I really want to show you how I'm doing that this week because that might give you some ideas about how you could actually get the most out of Reminders. Now before I go into Reminders, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this episode then please help me in return by hitting that like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips and tricks on things to do with productivity, Evernote, Apple Notes, Reminders and Todoist and a lot more besides, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into Reminders now and I'll show you exactly how I'm using Reminders. Okay, so this week's episode, I'm going to show you how I actually use Apple's Reminders. And so here we are on the desktop version of Reminders. I have shown you in the last few episodes how I use it on my iPad. I thought I would come back and just show you how I'm using it on the desktop because this is essentially how it would also look like on the web as well through iCloud. So essentially what I've got is I've got uh, an inbox, my shopping list, and a routines group involving morning and evening routines. Now, I've always had an, more, an inbox because it's just so easy to collect stuff on with using Siri. And just to be able to say, hey, Siri, add to my inbox is just a really quick and easy way to get stuff off my mind and into a trusted place. The next one up is my shopping list. Now I've always had a shopping list and this is essentially how I've always used reminders. I've always used it for shop my shopping list because I've shared it with my wife. Uh, although this isn't set up yet to share with my wife, I will be sharing it with my wife very soon when she comes back from China. So this is how um, <clears throat> I've always used reminders because it's so, again, it's so easy. I have my watch on while I'm cooking and I can just say, hey, add mm, to my shopping list although these days you don't actually have to say hey Siri because you just have to raise your wrist to speak and that works brilliantly but one of actually the new things that I've added since this new reminder has come out is my routines folders now the reason for this is I've never been comfortable having my routines in Todoist simply because Todoist to me is my to-do list manager and routines I shouldn't really need to have in a to-do list it should just be something I do However, it's very easy to forget to do what, or, or even to remember what you've done. So I thought, okay, I'm going to use it for my morning routines. And the main reason for this is because of the, the actual, <clears throat> the way that reminders come up on my watch. It just comes up, so at 6 a.m. in the morning when I wake up, I get drink a glass of water when waking up. It's great because I see that on my watch screen as soon as I wake up. I got my water right next to the bed and I can just sit up, drink a basically a glass of water and I'm ready to start the day. It gives you that little bit of energy. I then have what I call do my priming exercises. My priming exercise is essentially done uh, again at 6am and this is so that I can wake up with energy, have a purpose for the day and to stay focused on achieving that purpose. And essentially for me, priming is a combination of meditation and visualization of how I want to what I will see as a successful day today. And finally, at 7am, which is roughly the time I'm getting on the bus, 
uh, it's where prepare my day one journal and that's just basically setting up the template that I'm using and that's just because at the moment I'm doing a, a digital experiment over the next three months of doing uh, my journal through a digital means rather than a handwritten means I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing from the 1st of January but for the remainder of this year I thought I would do a digital journal to see if anything would change if I prefer it or not so that's how why that's there and then we move into my evening routines and I've got four of those and the first one is to spend 30 minutes cleaning up the house at 6 p.m. every day and that's just again it's a nice little reminder because I could be focused in on my work and I don't really want to do that so what I'm doing is I have added <clears throat> that task there to remind me just to spend 30 minutes cleaning up the house at the end of the day drink a glass of lemon water comes up at 8 30 p.m. and this is just to help to de-acidify my body and I got complete my day one journal this is at 10 p.m. and that's a great little reminder and also to do my golden 10 at 10 p.m. and for those of you who are not familiar with the golden 10 that's the the 10 tasks that I want to accomplish tomorrow that takes about 10 minutes at the end of the day and it's all part of the 2 plus 8 prioritization system and if you're not sure about that I have the link above or and also in the show notes so you can find out more about the golden 10. Okay well that's really it that's how I'm using reminders in the real world. Todoist is still my main to-do list manager but Reminders has now taken on the additional responsibility of managing my daily routines. I hope you found this series useful. I am going to continue with this series. I'm going to do an Apple Productivity se uh, Tools series over the next few months. <clears throat> There seems to be a lot of people interested in this and how to build your very own Apple productivity system. I also have an online course that you may wish to want to check out. Details of that coming up at the end of this video. But it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you have enjoyed these Apple videos that I'm doing and you want to build your very own Apple productivity system then please check out my create your own Apple productivity system course which is available from my learning center and is incredible value and it will show you how to bring all these parts together the notes app iCloud reminders and calendar into one beautiful productivity system check out the course here the details are below and I hope to see you in the course